YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the interweb for all things geeky and cool. And today, guys, we have another subscription box we're taking a look at. We're actually going to be cracking open the April 2017 themed Dress to Kill Nerd Block Classic subscription box. Now, before I actually dive into this box, there's a little bit of preamble I have to get out of the way about this particular box. Now, as I mentioned, this is the April 2017 box, not the May box. And the reason for this is I actually received an email at the end of April, about the last week of April, advising me that one of the items that was supposed to be in this box was damaged. It failed their quality control. And I give Nurblock all the praise in the world for having the guts and the gumption to say, hey, listen, there's something screwed up in this box. We're not gonna send you out something that is of poor quality. We wanna give you the best possible experience you can actually get for your money. And I give them total, total props for that. I didn't mind waiting an extra couple weeks to get a replacement item and a better box. Now, is this everyone's April's box? I don't know that. I didn't look for any type of reviews or any type of spoilers. I kept, went into this box completely blind. I didn't wanna know what was in this box, so I'm hoping it was all the boxes, not just mine. So with that being said, let's crack into the April 2017 themed Dress to Kill box. Now, if you're looking to get your own nerd block, this box itself goes for about $20 US. So let's actually crack into this box. I have my knife and my scissors here in case I need it. So let's actually open her up and see what we get. So the very first thing we got is what we normally always get with a nerd block item. We get a shirt. And this is a really cool shirt. Like I said, it was themed Dress to Kill. Something very spy-like, maybe art for James Bond, and this brought it to the spades, brought it to the table. So it's very, uh, you have like a spy with different sort of things about the spy. Uh, it's basically GoldenEye, that's what this really is. This is a GoldenEye themed shirt. If you look at it, you have the kind of the, uh, the blue and red uh, curved life bar and shields uh, that they had on the GoldenEye character from the old N64 game. I think that's awesome, very, very nostalgic. I love that, guys. Let's actually keep going here. There's a lot of stuff in this box. It was a lot of heft to it. Oh, we're gonna save that for last. That's cool, that's cool. Dress to kill, okay, I see, I see what they're going with this one. This is a nerd block exclusive item. This is a godfather item. This is a pin. Um, you guys are probably gonna say, Rook, you're an idiot, but I've never seen the godfather. I, I don't know anything really about the movie. I, I'm assuming this is maybe what he wore, or maybe what his gangsters wore. I, I'm not entirely sure. Yes, yes, I know you guys can scream at me in the comments, but I never saw it. Um, they have, oh, okay. I'm not gonna use these, but they have some Batman suspenders. <laughs> I'm not gonna use them, but they look really, really cool. I'll, of course, take up close shots of everything in my light box like I normally do for all my videos. Uh, still going. They have, oh, that's cool. Okay, this is a Nerf Block exclusive. This is Sex Panther Cologne Bottle. They give us a bottle of cologne. That's what I really, really like about Nerf Block. They give you things that you don't normally get. This is a empty, is this a bottle? It's an empty bottle? Yeah, it's an empty bottle. So you can actually probably put your own stuff inside of this if you really wanted to from um, the, Anchor, uh, the Anchorman movie. So, I mean, if you wanted to put your own cologne inside this, you technically could. I mean, it is a functioning bottle. So, I mean, you, you could technically put your own cologne inside of it. I do like it. I think it looks awesome. It is a, it says here, Sex Panther cologne bottle. 6% of the time, it works every time. Love it, guys. Absolutely love it. See, that's why I like Nerdblock. They got a really cool item like that. I mean, you don't see stuff like that in most subscription boxes. I think that's really cool. Um, this was the thing that I think was replaced. Um, the item that was originally supposed to be in this box was a set of Deadpool um, glasses. But the glasses themselves were really, really scratched up and beat up. They really went to town and they packed this thing. I mean, you see me struggling to open this thing up. I gotta dig into the actual scissors and start cutting into the bubble wrap. They really packed this thing well and I give them a lot of credit for that. So this is a, I don't think it really fits the theme. This is a tumbler glass for Spider-Man. Nice glass. It is a Marvel based item, of course. Glass which doesn't do well with me because I'm a klutz. I'll break it, <laughs> knowing my dumb luck. Oh, and they have a really, really cool art print of Joker. Nice dressed up version of Joker. Very cool item, I like that. That's a nice art print. And that is all in the box. Um, 
they talk about it was actually delayed. They gave me a card and talked about, and I'll read it to you guys. Again, full disclosure, I let all my audience know, all my subscribers know exactly what's going on. It says here, Heidner Block Classic Customer. As you know, the block was delayed while we waited for an item to arrive. A set of dead shot plastic whiskey glasses. That's what I was talking about. Unfortunately, the glasses arrived at our warehouse badly damaged. Um, they said they're extremely disappointed the quality of the item and couldn't in good conscience send a product they knew was flawed. Again, I give Nerblock tons of praise for that. They had the guts to even not only say, hey, in an email that there was a mess up, they told me in literature, they gave me a card and said this is why it was screwed up. And again, all the praise to Nerblock. I absolutely love that with them. Now, we're gonna look at the literature for this actual box. So that's all the items in this box. Again, not a lot of items. Again, and one of the things I talk about is I don't mind having less items in the subscription box if I have quality items. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, it looks like six items in this box. It is best dressed, as they're talking about dress to kill. Uh, they have the five best dressed villains of all time which is what they have here. And on the back, they always talk about their Valor box, which is their military themed box. They said, what's in this month's classic box? So there was a total, as I mentioned, they, uh, and even the literature had the wrong item, the damaged item. But I'll show you a picture because I've never even seen what it looked like yet. There's a total of six items like they said. So the very first item is a Sex Panther cologne bottle. So which was this one right here. They had the dead shot. They were actually dead shot whiskey glasses two pack. Um, it looks like they were probably glass, uh, maybe glass or plastic. It's hard to tell by the picture here, but that's what they were. They were dead shot glasses. I thought they were dead pool glasses. Joker suspenders, which are what these are. I thought they were Batman suspenders. These are Joker suspenders, which is that. You have the Godfather rose pin, which is what we talked about, which was this guy right here. And they have the Joker art print which was that one. And the last thing was the Dress to Kill t-shirt, which was the spy shirt, which was made out basically golden eye, which I like what they did there. Uh, good box. Um, I can see why it was delayed. Uh, they did replace it with an uh, item that I thought was pretty cool as well, nice glass. Tumble glass is glass. Knowing my luck, I will break it because <laughs> I'm very clutchy. And the theme for this coming May's box is going to be Heroes for Hire. That's what that one's going to be. And I'll also give you a little dress up here for suit up if you wanted to cut out the little guy and put your own clothing on it. Uh, they had, the, near the end of it, they had Star Trek's uh, Five Deadliest Alien Races. And they talked about Shaken Not Stirred, more spy-based stuff. And they have, of course, their literature ad for Doctor Who's box, which is a pretty expensive box. That's a bi-monthly box and it's $49.95. A little higher price point in my personal taste, not what I'm looking to get at this time. But let's actually talk about this April box. I think it was a good box all in all. Uh, delayed, we had the Deadshot glasses that got delayed because they were in bad condition, but I think it was a good box all in all. Was it worth $20? Yeah, I think it's a $20 box, absolutely. Um, was it Nerblock's best box? I don't think so, in my honest opinion. They've had better boxes, but this was an okay box altogether. We had six items. I do like the Anchorman uh, cologne bottle. You can put your own thing inside of it. I do like it is usable. You can actually do something with this. I like when they give you a product that basically is a premier item that is functional, that you can actually use it for something, be it a glass, be it a martini shakers, be it something, but I think all in all, it's a pretty good box. I'm probably not going to use the suspenders. I will use the glass, provided I don't break it. I will wear the shirt. Um, I don't know what I'll do with the pin, but like I said, all in all, it's a pretty good box. Uh, again, not their greatest box. So if you're looking to get your own Nerd Block, head over to nerdblock.com. Uh, the price for all their boxes in the U.S. are usually $20. Remember to click that like button at the bottom of the page. Always click subscribe, picture my face, and you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. I'll see you next video, and bye-bye.